Reef HQ is a critical economic asset, providing jobs and income within the local community. In 2016 and 17, the aquarium drew in 142,600 visitors, 55% of them being local people. However, only 11% of them were international visitors. These figures are important as it demonstrates the strong connection and bond that Reef HQ has achieved within the local community enhancing its ability to deliver a high standard of educational programme to many local people. However, Reef HQ doesn't stop educating there. Let's take a look at what they've been up to all over the world. Introducing Reef Ed. Reef HQ Aquarium's video conferencing facility allows students from all over the world even as far as Alaska, to interact with scuba divers who are in the tanks at Reef HQ, bringing the Great Barrier Reef live into your classroom. You and your classmates will be transported to the depths of the Coral Reef Aquarium to view the wonders of the reef. You will then be introduced to the 750,000 litre predator tank that houses many species of marine life including sharks, turtles, and the most colourful fish. Reef HQ is very proud of their volunteer programme and the great people that do an amazing job. They rely heavily on the staggering amount of volunteers. There are presently 130 of these fantastic people. This makes up a staggering 71% of the staff. As previously mentioned in this presentation, there are 130 volunteers at Reef HQ. This compares to only 22 full-time staff and 30 casual staff. This has a significant positive economic benefit to the business. While the biggest benefits to Reef HQ of having such a great volunteer programme would be the minimal associated costs and the ability to deliver more services in a more effective way, there are also social benefits for people who give their time for free. These may include... Reef HQ's vision and goals are to educate visitors about the Great Barrier Reef, raise global awareness of its values, the threats it's facing, and to highlight the negative impacts affecting the reef. As an organisation that advocates sustainability and minimalisation of ecological impacts, it has had to take a look at itself it was here in 2007, the bold initiative to cut their power usage by half was born. Seven years later, the vision became a reality. All well, still remaining fully operational. Here, we will take a look at how they achieved this. They started small by improving staff behaviours, asking them to turn off idle machinery, close doors, etc. They raised the air conditioning temperature by 1.5 degrees. They also introduced energy efficiency lighting. These small actions reduced the massive $550,000 power bill by 13%. Next, they started to work on some big ticket items, such as improved pumping systems. This action alone, whilst expensive to implement, reduced the energy demand by a massive 55%. Then it was time to look at some solar power. They are now the proud owners of a 250 kilowatt solar panel array, producing 320 megawatt hours, offsetting energy consumption by up to 